Hey guys, what's up? Hope you are having a good day. So friends, looks like market is trying to recover. We can see some green today. The market is like 388 billion. When I made video yesterday, it was like uh, 366. So it's up like 20 billion from the low. Um, we are getting, uh, we are going into consensus next week, so it's going to be a major event, and that can uh, drive the price. There could be some volatility in short term uh, because of the consensus event. So we'll have to keep a track. We'll have to have closer look. You know what are the companies uh, involved in the consensus? Who are the sponsors? So we might see some price action in those coins, like. I mentioned yesterday so Bitcoin is sky is currently sitting at 84.72 ethereum is kind of up 5% uh, EOS so I, I think yeah all coins are trying to recover Cardano 8% Neo $65 so yeah it's quite green today uh, we are happy uh, to see this uh, substratum is up 17% ontology again this coin is on rise guys this coin you know when I covered this on my channel it was like $1 six cent so it's roughly yeah $1.5 and since then it has moved like four times more than four times guys so yeah you must be having some good gains uh, people who bought ontology Kyber is again one of my favorite coin and I think this coin has long leg uh, the kind of uh, partnership they have and they are building the uh, decks in fact they are now listing a lot of the ERC20 tokens these days so I think uh, Kyber and 0x uh, have bright future uh, in the DEX vertical so keep your eye uh, on that Zilliqa again so guys, there are too many coins in the coin market cap, but if I look at the real world use case, I don't find many. And again, again, that's the concern. I can say only 5% or 10% of the coins are having use case at this point of time. And most of them are promise. They are just an idea as of now. So we have to be very careful while we invest in any coin and because you know I always uh, mention on my channel please try to take your capital your seed money out from the market and also uh, do profit bookings time to time because you know uh, the realized profit is yours uh, money uh, you know on the block folio is not your money unless you have it in your bank account so yeah because you know we work for the money and the bottom line is how much actually we are realizing and how much money you're enjoying from the market that's the bottom line because you know I was looking at some of the articles guys and uh, I see uh, you know some of the concerns you know these days because most of the companies you know uh, who don't have to do anything with the technology or the blockchain and they are jumping in the game on the name of blockchain and Bitcoin the recent example if you see here a Kodak Kodak blockchain project is now uh, raising like 50 million in ICO. If you see here, when digital, the outfit behind Kodak One has announced that it intends to raise up to 50 million in combined public and private token offering. Kodak One is licensed by Eastman Kodak, the imaging products and photography company that announced its entry into the crypto space at the start of 2018. So guys, I really don't understand why the hell they need a coin they are already a failed company guys will it make any difference if they will have any token or coin it's i cannot understand it we might uh, get some profit we might have flipping opportunity you know if you buy the kodak because the name of name of kodak is big and there will be uh, fomo buying and the people will uh, have an interest you know in the name of Kodak because it's an established company it was an inst uh, established company it's now totally failed so yeah we have to be very careful guys while we make decisions because if I look at here 83% of exchange listed coins traded below ICO price research shows so my intention is not to create FUD guys 
but the awareness because we need to be aware that uh, what are the good investments for us and what should be the strategy, you know, uh, so that we, we cannot get trapped. Uh, we should not lose our capital, our hard-earned money, guys. If you look at this article, uh, almost half of the project who started at an initial coin offering didn't have any development work done prior to the fundraising event. Research shows the majority of projects which got listed on a cryptocurrency exchange traded below the ICO price. So again, most of the ICOs are just an idea, just the white paper, just a promise. We don't know, you know when they will start uh, delivering because we need delivery. Uh, it's just a promise at this point of time and there is FOMO money jumping in the market before the actual work. So, if you look at here, guys, half of ICOs failed. So, in 2018 itself, there were like 412 ICOs uh, were, you know, uh, raise, raised money and only 204, like 204 managed to raise more than 100,000 out of those. 89 got listed on public crypto exchanges, which is what the wide majority of regular investors look forward to in order, in order to flip the coins for profit. However, out of the uh, coins that got listed on an exchange, 83% actually traded below the ICO price. This goes to point out an important sentiment, even if the ICO managed to raise a lot of money and hit its funding target, it doesn't guarantee a return on your investment. What does this mean? So none of the above goes to say that crypto So that it's clearly, we can see guys, many of the uh, ICOs are not doing well. If you go back, let's say a year back or two years back, we cannot even remember the coin name because every day we can see tens of twenties of ICOs are hitting uh, to the market and having uh, the crowd sale. So we need to be very quick guys, if you're buying any ICO, do thorough research no matter how is the how good is the coin if you're having good profit try to take out your capital and some of the profit so that you know you you can feel safe and you can put that money you can roll that money into some other projects and try to flip as much as possible because if i look at the coin market cap guys uh, there are more than uh, i would say 1600 cryptocurrencies so it's too many guys and only 5 or 10% are, are really doing well. If I look at the re real world use case, I could see very few, you know, uh, like Bitcoin or Ethereum or maybe uh, Monero, again, it's a privacy coin or maybe Verge, you love it or you hate it. It's still, it's, it has use, use case. Uh, you can, you know, watch that, uh, what you call uh, porn uh, for the Verge, you know, you can use that cryptocurrency so there are very few guys you know who are actually having a use case so yeah if you look at the some of the top 20 coins if i see let's say tron i really don't know you know why this coin is sitting around 5 billion market cap i think it's totally garbage it's pure, pure shit guys if you look at the tron or electronium or or any other you know the shitty projects which is having like 1 billion or 500 million of the market cap and doesn't have any productivity, any working product. So most of the coins are, I would say, modern day penny stocks. Like in stock market, there are many penny stocks, you know, which never do well. And, you know, people just try to speculate and try to, uh, since it's a low value stock, they, they try to uh, manipulate that, you know, uh, those stocks. If you look at this article, uh, dot .com bubble, again, no, I don't uh, mean to be, you know, spreading FUD, but again, this is a comparable, you know, a lot of people talk about that it's kind of dot .com bubble. I don't see that as of now because we are very young, very new, you know, we just have below 500 billion of market cap. But yeah, going forward, the kind of money is flowing and uh, the kind of, uh, I would say, 
gap between delivery and investment, between productivity and the FOMO buying, the gap will tend to increase, uh, you know, going forward. And that may create a bubble, you know, like if you have, let's say, 2 trillion, 3 trillion, 5 trillion of market cap without having any productivity, any real utility. Uh, so that could be the bubble and it might get pop, guys. But it's not now, I think. We are in very early stage, but we should be very careful because the coin we see today, we might not see in next 12 months or 18 months. So if you see here, guys, uh, pets.com or webvan, they failed completely. We can't even remember those names. So if I look at some of the other stats, guys, these are some of the automobile uh, manufacturers. You know, when cars, came, you know, came first. So these are the, some companies in United States. If you see here, ABC, Aero, many of these uh, companies, we do not know about them today because they have gone, they, they completely vanished. If you see here, there are tons of companies, you know, when there was a boom in car market initially, you know, then uh, the uh, these companies started manufacturing. There were many uh, projects, many companies uh, started raising fund in the name of car manufacturing. And if you look at here, most of them are failed. We don't know Havers, we don't know Hartley. So yeah, very few are still around guys so so these uh, cars company if you see the coin market cap so most of the coins the shitty projects will look like this guys will look like this uh, companies you know who failed uh, long way back you know in 20, 90s 1920s yeah when the first car came yeah so guys, the bottom line is we should understand the project, we should read and do not hesitate to book profit, do not love any coin, any project. Keep rolling your money, keep uh, repeating, keep flipping as much as you can and the first priority should be taking your money, taking your capital, the original investment out from the market. As far as my investment goes, I do not have a single penny in the market. What do I mean? I do not have my capital, you know, the seed money, which I invested a year back, one and a half years back, which is already out with huge gains. I have already made like more than 30 times of gain on my original invest investment and half of the money is out from the market. So I had my original money out along with huge profit. So yes. If anything goes wrong, let's say tomorrow market crashes, if any bad news comes, market, you know, goes back to $100 billion, it won't impact much, you know, uh, in my case, because I've already taken my money out. So yes, you have to think about that, guys, and be safe. And if you don't understand anything, if you're investing in ICO, just flip it into Bitcoin, because I think Bitcoin is here to stay, no matter... We can have many forks, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Private or any shit forks. But Bitcoin will stay, I think, for next five years and will do very well. So guys, this is it. That's it for now. If you have liked my video, please subscribe to my channel. Please comment and like. Thank you. Good day. Bye.